In the world, there are just over 40,000 commercial and military aircraft, not counting private or small planes. By comparison, the staggering number of cars in circulation exceeds 5 billion. Aircraft represent a tiny figure in this context. Why are so few aircraft manufactured? Let's find out at the world's largest aircraft manufacturing plant. Let's fly to Everett, north of Seattle, USA, where the Boeing Mega Factory is located. This factory, which assembles just under 500 aircraft annually, both commercial and non-commercial, spans more than four kilometers, with a total area of 398,000 square meters. Inside, it could comfortably fit Disneyland Park and even up to 75 American football fields. This enormous building is so large that it can be considered a small city, there are so many workers that even after 20 years of work, they have not learned all the access routes of this factory. The factory has specific areas designated for building each model of aircraft, but this time we will focus only on the Boeing 747-800, the most famous commercial aircraft and preferred by the vast majority of customers. Its maximum competitor, the Airbus A380, has surpassed the Boeing 747 in recent years by having a higher passenger load capacity being fuel efficient and environmentally friendly. Thus, the Boeing company embarked on the task of once again surpassing the Airbus A380. We know that manufacturing an airplane from scratch and designing something new can take more than 30 years. The Boeing 747 has maintained its design since 1965, but it has been updated with the implementation of new technologies in metal alloys and current technological systems. The key strategy of the Boeing 747 is to reduce the amount of fuel per passenger seat, allowing airlines to save more on fuel, although it carries fewer passengers than the Airbus A380. For over 48 years, Boeing has manufactured its airplanes manually, without a single robot in sight at the Everett factory. All mechanics and engineers work in dynamic harmony. Although it might be thought that Boeing produces its own parts, the reality is that the large factory in Everett functions as a gigantic manufacturer, with components coming from all corners of the world. The seats of the airplane arrive from Germany, the elements of the wings come from China, and even the flaps from Australia are used to manufacture a 747-8. For this process, more than 6 million parts are needed. The most critical aspect is that all must arrive on time as Boeing does not store parts to reduce costs associated with the purchase and storage of parts in advance. Boeing operates with a very synchronized parts supply system, tracking them by codes to prevent losses. The manufacturing of the 7478 begins with the most complex part, the wings. The assembly of the wings occupies almost a quarter of the entire factory. The wings of the Boeing 747 are so large that four three-bedroom houses could fit on top of each one. The design of the wings is crucial for the efficiency of the airplane, as they support all the weight of the aircraft, including the engines and the 58 tons of fuel in each wing. The aluminum coating of each wing is attached to the structure with thousands of screws. These wings must be extraordinarily resistant to transport more than 420,000 kilowatts and withstand the high pressures that allow flight. Continuing with the manufacturing process, we move on to the fuselage, where the middle, rear, and front sections are fused to shape the airplane and its characteristic hump, the same size as a Boeing 737. Each section is covered with a vinyl green panel, acting as protection during manufacturing. Only the nose is built as a single piece. The lower part of the main body is manufactured upside down to ensure a more efficient process. Subsequently, it is rotated 180 degrees in a special device to install the roof. Once assembled, its weight is such that it requires a gigantic crane to be lifted. A total of 26 cranes mounted on the roof of the gigantic complex travel more than 56 kilometers, transporting each of the pieces of the airplanes manufactured here. Next, one of the most complicated and risky maneuvers is carried out. The joining of all the pieces of the fuselage and the wings, giving the 747-8 the appearance of an airplane. The joining of these sections is a delicate task, performed during the night to minimize the presence of personnel in the factory. These are parts in which millions of dollars have been invested, and a minimal error could bring economic problems for the company. 
First, the front section is positioned to receive the wings. The team must be extremely precise, and two tractors must pull at exactly the same speed to avoid any misalignment or rotation of the structure, allowing a perfect fit. The moment arrives to incorporate the power with the installation of the four new engines. The previous generations of the 747 engines consumed 12,000 liters of fuel each hour. Boeing commissioned General Electric to manufacture more fuel-efficient engines. These powerful engines, capable of moving this enormous airplane, cost no less than $20 million each, being the most expensive component of the 747-8. Despite their price, the blades of the engine, made of a synthetic resin, reduced the weight to less than 180 kWh, justifying their investment. These engines have fewer blades and slower rotations, resulting in quieter operation. They can push more air with less effort, which translates into lower fuel consumption. Only 10% of the air mixes with the fuel and burns in the combustion chamber, moving a series of turbines that operate a large front fan. This fan propels the remaining 90% of the air backwards from the engine, generating the necessary thrust. Despite their efficiency and fuel consumption, these four engines can propel the 747-8 to more than 1,000 km per hour. After this laborious task, each of the circuits must be meticulously reviewed. The airplane uses so much electricity that it would be enough to supply 50 homes. Throughout its two 14 km of cables, everything is concentrated in the electronic hold, known as the nervous system of the airplane, with a new fly-by-wire technology controlled by computers inside the cabin. The interior features a futuristic design adapted to the needs of the buyers. Once the interior is decided, this majestic airplane is moved to the paint cabin of the mega factory. There, the protective vinyl is removed and a primer layer is applied, followed by several color layers according to the customer's tastes. This process requires care, as many layers of paint can hide problems in the metal and an excess can also increase fuel consumption. A standard paint job uses 500 kilos of paint. After leaving the paint cabin, the relevant tests are carried out on the airplane, extreme tests that not everyone could withstand. After thousands of workers assembled six million pieces and overcame various tests, this airplane can be yours for the sum of $330 million. With great regret, Boeing has definitively dismissed its most emblematic model, the 747, after 55 years of production and the delivery of 1574 units. The American manufacturer ended this era by delivering the last unit to Atlas Air, specialized in the transport of goods, at the end of 2022. Nicknamed the Queen of the Skies and easily recognizable by its distinctive front hump, the 747 was the pioneer in introducing wide-body aircraft with double aisles to the market, revolutionizing intercontinental flights by making them faster and more affordable from the 70s to the present, waging a fierce battle until the end of its production. The closure of the 747 series marks the end of an era and paves the way for the manufacture of more futuristic airplanes. Undoubtedly, this iconic series will always be remembered for its significant contribution to the evolution of commercial aviation. If you liked the video, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you don't miss the upcoming educational videos. See you next time.